This is how a base station site looks like in the cellular network. It contains these big antennas aiming in different directions. You can see there are three different ones of them, each of them covering 120 degree sector. So one in that direction, one in that direction, and one at the back side. And any mobile phone located in that direction at a sufficient range will be covered by this base station and communicate with it. Thanks to the size of these antennas and the directivity, we can get a much stronger signal aimed towards users in that designated region than your mobile phone can achieve by sending out the signal in all directions, as it has to do, because it doesn't really know where the base station is. These antennas are always transmitting in the same direction because they are so-called passive antennas that can't change anything. They are not even generating the signals. Instead, there is these black cables going down to white boxes underneath here that is generating the signal to be transmitted. Base station sites of this kind are normally found on rooftops where you might spread out the antennas in different parts of the rooftop or in big towers in the countryside. In this case, this is right next to the highway. This is how it looks like underneath the base station tower. We have a computer in this building over here that is connected to the rest of the world and prepares your data for transmission. For example, it contains the baseband unit that prepares the digital bits to be transferred. It is then connected to a wide range of different radio units, one for each sector and each frequency band. So we have three different bands here for one of the antennas, another three here, another three over there, and this site is then sending three frequency bands in three different directions. So in a way, there are nine different base stations in one base station site. This is how a base station site has been organized in the 2G, 3G and 4G era. Nowadays in 5G, these radio units can be integrated inside the big antennas in the tower and we can then also control the directivity in the signal. So it doesn't have to fill an entire 120 degree sector. Instead, we can aim it towards different mobile phones and actually send multiple signals at the same time, at the same frequency, but to different users. In 5G, we can also take the computing power that is inside this building over here and move it somewhere else, take a fiber cable somewhere else and share this kind of equipment between multiple base station sites. Mm -hmm.